Just a quick video to give you my backstory on this train stuff. Uh, I found this 4x8 layout here in most of these trains in my barn. See, I have a barn. This is my this is my wood shop. Uh, but I found most of these trains in this layout here when I bought the house. It was abandoned, and I flipped it. Uh, but I just recently got them all out and, uh, watching different people's videos on YouTube, I learned how to rebuild them all. So I got all of these trains running and, uh, this one here is giving me a little problems. Uh, it makes a little bit of noise. Um, I'm looking for the gears. I think I need a new gear in there and, uh, I can't seem to get these traction tires right. Uh, but down here, I added <clears throat> another 12, uh, 10 feet to this. Uh, try to get my kids involved. And I put two of these Tyco scenes underneath it just to, just to get them out here and interested. And um, I'm kind of doing the same layout I got on that 4x8, but larger. I'm going to have a, uh, a, track, a track that runs all the way on the outer all the way around the outer and then I'll have an inner ring with a maybe a couple uh, ovals I'm not sure yet uh, but I'm waiting for parts I can't find you know parts are expensive I kind of want to go to that Bachman easy track but it's outrageous uh, I'm just new to this and I'm not trying to spend a whole lot of money but uh, it really it really uh, is satisfying to come up here and uh, work on this and play around with it uh, I even got a little slot car track over there, just a small one. I got a bigger one in my basement, uh, AFX stuff. Uh, but all these little houses and all these little trucks and all these little cows and uh, all this stuff was here in boxes buried like, like up inside these holes. Like up here, there's a storage area up there. Uh, I kept digging it out. Uh, I got a... About four boxes of uh, the Lionel uh, track, which I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna mess around with. But here's the couple trains. Uh, full. I'm not sure what gauge that or scale that is, uh, but it's big. Uh, you know the old Lionel stuff. Uh, but I got I found a couple of these trains. Uh, they're all steel though. I'm not even sure how to get into that and work on that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to keep it all HO scale because uh, it's what I got and what I'm working with. I'm not trying to spend a whole lot of money. Don't got a whole lot of money to spend on, ha uh, on uh, you know, toys. So, but uh, yeah, if you guys have any uh, comments to make on if I'm doing okay or I'm screwing it up or don't make no videos or whatever go ahead and put it out there to me i i'll take uh, constructive criticism uh but this uh this four by eight layout right here uh that was here uh built already for me uh i just basically sanded all the rails uh it's even got it's even got all the switches on here for all this stuff but i i, I haven't figured it all out yet and uh, there's a couple couple uh, switches here that are missing. Uh, I'm not sure what it all does. When I when I try to get power to it, it kind of shorted different stuff out. But uh, it's a cool little layout. Uh, like I said, it's set here for about five years. I had it screwed to my ceiling actually, uh, just as uh, you know something to look at. But uh, I got bored one day and maybe watched a video on YouTube and came out here and realized what I got. I got a lot of stuff. It's all older. It's all, uh, you know, Tyco, Menudo, whatever that's called. That, that word, that name. I'm not real uh, familiar with the terms. I'm just learning. But, uh, you know, I'm a child from the 90s, 80s, 90s. I grew up watching, you know, A-Team and uh, He-Man and Transformers was one of my favorite things. So, obviously, I bought the Transformers train and the A-Team train. Uh, I got it pretty cheap. Found it on Marketplace. For about, I don't know, I paid 50 bucks for the, for the Transformer train and maybe, uh, I can't remember exactly, uh, 
maybe a hundred for the 18 train but i got everything with it i got the box it was basically unused brand new didn't have to touch nothing uh you know this type of golden eagle was nothing was working uh i know i know that you guys that are uh in this for a long time it doesn't mean nothing to you guys you just tear it apart real quick and get it back together but you know for me i had to watch videos and watch videos and watch videos uh but i got it i got it all down it's pretty pretty basic simple simple stuff like uh this chattanooga choo-choo gave me problems for a while but it was just all the way the wiring was uh connecting different things and i figured it out uh tore the motors apart and oiled all get all the old gear grease off it and re-grease re it up oil them up and uh it runs great a lot of them run great i mean they don't run great great but they run uh like i said i'm having a little bit of problems with the traction tires uh but okay guys that's about it for me it's a little bit long video i don't like making the long ones uh have a good day fourth of july weekend everybody be safe and uh follow share and subscribe because i i'm new and i really want to get into this and and get the get the knowledge it takes to do something here i thought about using that foam board and making a couple different levels but uh you know maybe in time all right happy fourth of july weekend everybody stay safe signing out